Retrospect has the ability to make an exact copy of your data from one disk to another. In order to perform this duplicate or copy operation, go to the upper left hand side and click on copy. And then you'll have two choices, either make an exact copy or copy selected files and folders. In this example, we're gonna go ahead and make an exact copy and click on continue. And then we have to decide what do we wanna copy. We can go ahead and select on browse on our internal hard disk and we're going to go ahead and select a folder on that internal disk. So let's go ahead and select the users folder and inside users folder let's say we want to do documents. First we're going to do is add to the favorite folders and click done. Now I can either select the documents folder as the source or I can just select the entire hard disk. I have a choice. I don't need to recopy or need to copy all the data. So in this case, I'm just going to choose documents. Click continue. And then I have to select the destination. Where am I going to copy these files onto? Now, typically, you don't want to copy to the root of your external hard drive. You're typically going to want to copy your data into a folder on that drive. So I can go to browse. And I can select new folder. Now we can select that folder and add it to favorites. And click done. We've now added that folder to our list of available destinations. We click continue. And we can see that the source is the documents folder and the destination is my documents copy. And this indicates that all items inside that folder are going to be erased or overwritten during the copy operation. Then we click start now. Under the activities, under the running tab, we can see that Retrospect has begun copying the data from the original source folder and then it's going to do a verification to make sure the files were copied correctly. If I run this exact same copy operation again at a later date, Retrospect is only going to copy the files that are new or changed since the last time I ran a copy. The copy operation does not recopy every file every time. It does an incremental copy of only the changes.